is a bit surreal. It's nice to see you up here. It's good to see you too, Tom. It's nice to see you. So, so tell me a little bit about the, the making of this record. This is largely about your, your father, right? It is, yeah. So um, my father's name is Dino Hurst, and he might be listening right now. Um, he him, was, him and Shawn Mendes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right? The two of them. Yeah, right. Um, he was born in a small country in the Caribbean called Grenada. Has anyone heard of Grenada? <laughs> All right, okay. Um, anyways, Grenada faced a lot of political turmoil in the late 1970s and early 80s, and he ended up coming to Canada as a refugee in 1986 alone. He was 16 years old. Uh, and, you know, it was a story that was always in the periphery, but something that I kind of ran away from or, or didn't feel was important uh, to who I am. And I think the more that I started looking at Grenada, and I actually went and visited um, the country and, and wrote there and wrote a lot of songs there, including that song, yeah. um, it just, I f it felt like coming home in a lot of ways, you know, coming home to myself, I think, more than anything. But, so given that this is about your father's journey and coming to Canada, I mean, how does he feel that you were nominated for a Juno for it? Feels brilliant. He feels, you know, does he feel good about it? Is he? Oh yeah, he's telling all his friends at work. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, it, it feels good. And, and actually, maybe ironically or maybe not, you know, I think for a long time I, I, I wanted to be the kind of Canadian that was like the hockey playing, Scots-Irish, very plainly Canadian, where you can look at that person and say, oh, that's a Canadian. And, and, I, and I felt alienated, I think, from my own culture. Right. And, um, and once I went over to Grenada, I realized how deeply Canadian I was. Like, I couldn't understand my cousins when they were talking to me. And they were speaking English, that their accents were so heavy. Um, but on a deeper level, I, I realized how much of um, Canadian culture was in me. Mm. Um, and so I, I think it it was healing in a lot of ways, and, and so it's equally amazing to be nominated for an award here, yeah. of all places. I, I know that, you know, we spent a lot of time, when you, especially when you were a kid, hanging out, because your mom, um, uh, Tamara, is, is, she was in charge of a bunch of folk festivals, deeply embedded into the folk music scene, uh, just like I was, and I know you spent a lot of time, I used to see you running around backstage at folk festivals, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I can only imagine that it's, it's meaningful for you to be nominated amongst some of these folks. It must be some of your heroes. Yeah. Of course, yeah. But Questlove uh, famously said that um, once you start playing on the same stages as your heroes, they become your peers. And I think that that's, that's really meaningful to me too, is, is to be able to see them as not only people to look up to, but people who I can share a professional stage with. Well, I can tell you from, you know what a fan I am, and from listening to your record, you absolutely deserve to be here, and, and then some, you have a, Really long, beautiful career ahead of you, and I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thanks, Tom. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaya Cater. <laughs> Juno nominee for her album, Grenades. One more time for Kaya Cater.